tell you, I wouldn't have missed this today for anything. I learned a lot about Charles, and I learned a lot about MBE that I know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> so I've also learned, met a lot of Charles' friends and colleagues from far away, people who have come because they are his friends and because they have such admiration and respect for him and for Linda. Charles specifically asked if I would talk about Cosmos and how Cosmos got started. And I have two of my colleague, Cosmos colleagues in the audience. Dan Aldrich and I were the two f major fundraisers at the, be at the beginning. And Shirley Miranda, I think, is here, is a, uh, was a teacher fellow or has been a teacher fellow here at UC San Diego for, I think, 15 years anyway. So she's been great. Uh, anyway, uh, my first, you know, talking about Cosmos was certainly not a hard sell for me because it's been part of my life for practically 30 years. My initial efforts to provide a special uh, educational enrichment program in California goes back really 30 years when my husband was in the Senate and I would come out and talk to the education advisor at the governor's office and say, we need this, we need this, and he'd say, yeah, we have no money. So eventually, when my husband was governor, <laughs> we did get the legislation passed, and he, at the end of his second term, signed the legislation and handed the project to the State Board of Education, along with a million dollars for the initial planning and design of this program. It was meant specifically for high school age students who excel in math and science, but who also not only demonstrated an interest in but a talent in math, science, and engineering. The Regents of the University of California agreed. They accepted the challenge to provide this and this program that eventually became COSMOS. Now, COSMOS is not an acronym for anything. It's just a name that we, that's catchy and that we can focus on instead of saying the California State Summer School for Math and Science. <laughs> anyway, so I'm very grateful for the, to the Regents of UC. The Office of the President chose the first two campuses. So this would have been in summer 2000. And they chose Santa Cruz and they chose UC Irvine. And they just d chose those two campuses because they agreed to develop a full 30-day immersion program for the participating students. Of course, that includes housing, RAs, professors, labs, TAs, and all the things that you know go into it. And that's a big undertaking. So Cosmos opened on those two campuses in summer 2000, with approximately 150 students on each campus. The team's view was it was critical that this, this be a residential program of at least four weeks in length, so that the students really are immersed in the science and math or engineering subject that they had chosen. In 2001, UC Davis was added. And with San UC San Diego came in, coming on board in 2004. At that time, I mean, we, we knew that we couldn't take money away from the other three campuses, other two campuses, three campuses by that time with UC Davis. So Dan Aldrich had the idea that we would raise the money privately to fund Cosmos at UC San Diego for three years. And so he, we got. Toyota, Qualcomm, the Benbow Foundation, the John Moores Foundation, and one of the regents, Peter Preuss. And they started with, I think, 70 students. The next year, 120, then to 160. And I think, Charles, you've had about 180 the last few years. Am I right? 200. 200 so it's grown. <laughs> well, you can tell how proud I am of Cosmos. It has proved to be a great recruitment tool for the University of California. But more importantly, it has proved to be a great retention tool for those young people whose passion is math, science, technology, or engineering. All the people who spoke earlier today, I can assure you, you would have been Cosmos students <laughs> if you were in high school. And Charles would say he just wishes he could go back. Now, what does Cosmos do? Number one, it helps students identify as being science students, giving them a sense of belonging, a level of confidence that they might not have had otherwise. It provides mentoring at a real inflection point of these young people's lives. It encourages a commitment to a science career. 
It also helps level the playing field for underrepresented minorities. And there is a proven record of Cosmos students staying in the STEM fields across time. I consider it a life transforming experience for these students. And I think that the social aspects are as important as the academic aspects. And I'm going to give you one little anecdote. I had an email from a mother <coughs> saying, my son Johnny does not make friends easily. And so when I dropped him off at UC San Diego, I just wasn't sure how it was going to go. So after about a week, I called him and I said, so honey, as mothers do, honey, have you made any friends? And he said, oh, mom, I've made 50 friends. They're all like me here. <laughs> now to Charles. In 2005, Charles became the director of Cosmos at UC San Diego. And his devotion for these past years has inspired numerous young people to choose STEM for their careers, including many first generation college students. He's recruited excellent staff and talented faculty who were able to build Cosmos at UC San Diego into the outstanding program it is today. He displayed vision, creativity, a great sense of humor, and academic political acumen in, a co in coordinating an array of academic clusters here that, that use the unique talents of UC San Diego, as well as those that would tantalize students who are thinking about a science career. The ongoing success of this site can be directly attributed to Charles's quiet but effective leadership and determination. He has served as a wise counselor to the statewide program overall, as well as to the advisory board, which I chaired for 10 years. I always knew I could depend on Charles's constructive criticism and insight into ways to make not just UC San Diego's program better, but the whole statewide program better. So we are delighted that now Charles is going to have more time for parasailing, ice diving, <laughs> scuba diving, snorkeling, whitewater rafting, but he's also going to, has agreed to st stay with Cosmos here at UC San Diego for two more years to help continue building the excellence here. We are collectively very grateful to you, Charles. Thank you. <laughs>